Now, I want you all to imagine this, right? You're with a girl. Everything is going great. She might be the one, okay? You're in love. Then all of a sudden, she leaves you. And you're left confused. You're like, why did she leave me? And then you find out the reason she left you is because of this. She does give me the biggest ick. So, for those that are a bit confused, this woman gets turned off by a guy with ears. Why the fuck are ears a thing? But I don't know, love. Why do we have ears? To be honest, I wish I didn't have any now. You do with my head in. Sorry, we just can't be together. Why? What have I done? You've got ears. Yep, so have you. Yeah, if this is going to be a thing, you've got to lose the ears. I'm sorry. I, I can handle feet. I can handle anything like that. Ears, though? I'm sorry? What? Why are they there? I mean, I get, I get why they're there. Like, you need to hear and shit. But, like, why? You just told us why they come in handy when people are telling me to stay away from nut jobs like you like i feel like shrek in controversial opinion i don't like shrek you feel like shrek what well luckily for her no one will want to go in there swamp him up so it just it just oh. no no that feels weird it feels wrong does it why is she acting like she's just discovered she has a pair of ears it Feels like I have two little. They're just so alien. Like, do you ever think about something so literally that you're like, what the fuck? Maybe it's a me issue. Yeah, maybe. Can't imagine there's many people out there that are attracted to people with no ears. Ben's victims, really. They're just so alien. She says ears are so alien, but if we cut our ears off, we will literally look like a fucking alien. I want to chop them off. I want to get rid of ears. You say that, but if a millionaire came up to you with satellite dishes as ears, you'd still fuck him just because of his bank balance. You would fuck Dumbo if he was a millionaire. You know what I find funny? When a guy... Jesus Christ, is this woman f***ing real? I'd say that's a nick for me, when women make themselves look recyclable. When a guy actually goes out of their way and goes and clicks on my profile and blocks me. <laughs> no, I can 100% understand why a man would go out the way to block you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, the laugh alone is enough for me to be like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, I hurt you that bad that you had to block me. It's giving feminine energy vibes. Oh, I couldn't give two fucks. I'm happy we're looking like a bitch. Rather that than be with you, honestly. Fuck that. <laughs> don't like her attitude. To be honest, it's hard to gauge any emotion from this woman because her face doesn't move and it's all right if the girl blocks the guy but when a guy blocks the girl it's like relax well it is usually the women that are blocking the guys let's be honest yeah we do not give a fuck relax with the emotions <laughs> there's a fucking laugh again i just can't get over the fact how she just doesn't look real to be honest that's like a lot of bars and clubs nowadays anyways isn't it like you walk into one now see a load of girls and it looks like a circus act they're all just walking around with face paint on and lips like bouncy castles <laughs> and sometimes if you're good looking like myself you catch them staring at you they're just stood at the other end of the club just like that with the lips i'm like to my friends okay we're leaving <laughs> guys i've developed a new ick at work it is grown men yawning so we're not allowed to be tired now yeah great fucking yawn is taking the piss in it mummy where's daddy he's gone you won't see him again why i caught him yawning um Hold it in. Um, fuck off. It is, it drives me insane. It has happened an ungodly amount of times this week, and it's Tuesday, and I don't understand how they don't know how to just not yawn. If I ever went to this little nerd and I ever caught a yawning, I'd throw some it down a throat. Here is a list of things that men do that absolutely repulses me, makes my toes curl, makes goosebumps stand up, if steam could blow out of my ears and I could shoot lasers out of my eyes. God, this one was a lot, isn't she? Fuck me. This is the things that would trigger it. Something happened recently, which is why I'm making this video. If you're a man, all right, and you disagree with what I'm saying. Mind your business. I don't care. Yeah, but you get how mad in our own business is a bit difficult when you've uploaded it to TikTok. If he has a low pain tolerance, if you're a man, you're not allowed to have a low pain tolerance. So we're not allowed to feel pain now. What the fuck? What if we get kicked in the bollocks? Are we just meant to fame that? There's just, there's no fucking way. What if we said that about women? They're in the middle of giving birth and we're just like, listen, sweetheart, can't do this anymore. It's not gonna work. What are you talking about? You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Your pain tolerance is way too low. Even if it hurts, shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear you whine about it. Oh, so we can't even let you know that we're in pain. Great. What if we've been shot? Like, what do you want us to do? Are you just going to be there like, are you seriously f***ing crying right now? Listen, if this relationship is going to work, stop being a pussy, all right? Because I have a high pain tolerance, but I just feel like if you are going to complain, because like, 
Mm, I stubbed my toe and it really hurts. I can't go up the stairs anymore because my toe really hurts. This woman somehow just became ten times more unlikable talking about X while speaking like that. My toe really hurts. You can't do that. I can also tell you've never stubbed your toe before because stubbing your toe f***ing hurts. So you can take your pain tolerance and shove it right up your ass because you won't be able to feel it, right? Grow up. Fuck off. And here's a piece of advice. If you're a straight man at the airport, I want to see you in pants with some structural integrity. Oh, you f***. Weirder structural integrity. Don't even know what that means, but it sounds gay. I don't want to see you in your comfies. That's not for you. I'm telling you right now, it is absolutely for me. Joggers, t shirt, and a hoodie if it gets cold. Sorted. What do you expect me to do? Go on a fing plane wearing a three piece suit? If I knew you was on my plane, I'd wear fucking speedos just to piss you off. Ones that don't fit me too, so they'll be going right up my ass crack. That's not for you. I can wear what I want. Don't can worry about it. I didn't sign up to leave the house and see you wearing joggers with a hole in it. Those things are for girls only. Please put on your jeans, khakis, J. Crew chinos. They're always on sale at the factory outlet. Oh, that's great, but there's absolutely no way I'm wearing chinos in general, to be honest. Never mind a fing plane. Joggers or shorts are the best option. They allow breathing room. But jeans or chinos? Fuck that. It's so uncomfortable. I'd rather the plane fing crash, to be honest, just to put me out my misery. It's an epidemic and it's only getting worse. I've visited a lot of airports and it seems like as straight men we're taking creative liberties that we don't need to be taking. Why do you need to be comfy? Is that even a question? Why do I need to be comfy on a seven hour flight? Don't know love, maybe so I don't put my f***ing head out the window. This is why I need you all to like and subscribe so then I can fly first class. <laughs> it's, it's a sight for sore eyes. You guys want to wear the pants in society? So wear the pants everywhere in the airport. And if you can't dress appropriately, as my girl Kamala Harris says, do not come, do not come. Don't concern yourself, love. I don't think you have to worry about men coming anytime soon. That ship sailed a long fucking time ago. You're usually asking them to come. Biggest ick in a guy. When they fart. When they fart! Yeah, right, like you don't fart when you're by yourself. Why do women do that? Make out that like they don't do what the human body literally has to fucking do. Every woman on this planet has farted. And I bet a good 80% have farted in bed, now don't fucking lie to me, and gone under the covers to smell the results. They shiver without a coat. So we can't get cold now. What do you mean? Well, they wear black Nike socks. I don't even know what that means. How can a pair of socks turn you off someone? They're shorter than you. Yeah, you see, I can agree with that one. If your girlfriend's taller than you, you quite literally need to grow the fuck up. If they talk in a baby voice. I can also get beyond that one as well. Remember, we established this with Gobshite earlier. My toe really hurts. Doing a baby voice is probably, if not the worst thing you can do as a fully grown man. Yes, you are, like, too good at sex. Kind of gives me an ick. Well, I should be in the fucking clear then. <laughs> Well, I'll worry about that one. I honestly think I have potential. I just don't last long enough. Do you know when they say quality over quantity? Yeah, I'm neither. Because it's not quality, because as it starts to get good, I've already finished. <laughs> and it's not quantity, because once I've done, I can't be asked to do it again. What's your biggest turnoff in guys? A healthy diet? Probably when they don't work out. Oh, really? And stuff, yeah. You've got to be having a laugh. Just like a diet, they've got to be balanced in a relationship. And, well... <laughs> <laughs> it puts you off women watching these, doesn't it? Like, sometimes I wish I was gay. If you like enjoyed this video, click this playlist here. It's just all the other videos I've done on weird shit on TikTok. And they are weird, so go and check them out. And I'm going to watch porn and remain single for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> Structural integrity.